Welcome back everybody to episode 2 of our Let's Play with Elm Creek. Uh, last episode we built this uh, this impressive windmill which I sort of corrected. If you remember last time our, our wires were a little bit in the track but I corrected that. This is the chicken farm we added so this gives some early game revenue. Uh, so yeah, some cool chickens in there. And then we added these greenhouses, which give us a uh, passive income. We don't get a lot from these, but it's it's enough again just to give us that little uh, passive income. Then we also, obviously, we harvested this field, uh, bailed that uh, straw over there. And then that's where we left it. So this episode, what I'm going to be concentrating on is just, I want to add some sheep. So before we uh, we move along to get some sort of farming done, I'm going to be looking to get some wheat. But let's take a look back at what we've earned so far. So last episode, we sold some vehicles. 340 grand there, sold some buildings, we got 76 and a half grand. And we spent a little bit on construction. So I'll bring all our money down with livestock and some vehicle running costs. So yeah, we're, we're not doing too bad. I mean, we've got a balance of 170. We only started with 100. So so yeah, we're looking pretty, pretty swell right now for for the first episode. But we need to make a little bit more. We've got a little bit more uh, building up to do. Uh, because what I want to be looking for is to get us into a production. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to sleep a couple of times, I think. Uh, this will basically move us over to the next day. Which in this game, one day is equal to one month. So this effectively passes a month. So let's see what happens so this should hopefully give us some extra cash uh, and then we can literally see how much how much we earned for the month of august so we got some eggs that's nice and we just need to quickly look at our finances i'm in the wrong tab there we go get back up to my finances so so yeah we uh we earned Yeah, from our property income, which is over two grand for the for the month for the first month. But let's let's sleep again because what happens is it gives you some for the month of September, but not complete. So now it should move us sort of into October. So we should see what September gave us. Oh, we got a lot more eggs. That's one thing. And again, if I go to the right one. So if you look at September, just over 4,000 for property, 4,500 for property income. So that's from our mast. Uh, sorry, our windmill. Uh, we sold products of 1,877. So that's from our greenhouses. So, yeah. It's not a lot, but, you know, it, like I said, it's a little passive income. <clears throat> but we got quite a few eggs there, that's for sure. Yep. So, what do I want to do now? Eventually, I want to buy some fields. Uh, fields are a little expensive, though, so we're going to probably need to... And a little bit money. This grass one will be nice because I I want to get some sheep in this episode. So having our own grass field, it means we can feed them. Uh, I'd like to get some cotton. Cotton will be really good. Uh, cotton is one of the best in the game, but obviously this is uh, 177,000. So we don't quite have enough cash for that. Uh, but we can soon have that. Wheat will be good, obviously. Uh, we can use the wheat to feed our chickens and we can still sell it. 
but a lot of this is still beyond our, our income right now so we just need to i think have a bit more of a baseline down so i think what i'd like to do uh is basically set up some animals some more sheep because i'd like to get some wool and eventually that will lead us to a production which will culminate in a tailor shop so that should earn us quite a bit of sort of cash <clears throat> and then we can uh we can then start to look at, at getting some some of these fields that would be nice to get hold of that's a nice quite large field like near us and flick down to see what that is it's sorghum is it yeah so yeah so the idea of this this whole game is to obviously uh, expand our farm uh, it doesn't have to be right next to the farm we can buy any field like this field over here for example uh, but I think for now, I want to concentrate just on, on getting our sheep. Uh, then at least we can get, you know, the some sort of income coming in, or, or some start at least for our for our productions. So let's take a look at our sheep. So sheep, we've got a couple of options, and it's just basically on size. So sheep pasture is quite small uh, and you need to add water where the other two you don't. Uh, the middle one is not too bad at 25 um, and it's all we can afford really. I don't want to go for the big one at this point. So I'm going to put it in this area here because this is going to be part of my bigger farm. Because it's a very small field this so don't really need it to have anything else so I'm gonna put some sheep I think just about here and if we can just get it in right the shield the field is a little bit not square so I'll just get it so it looks reasonable and that uh, that should be it 51,000 so a little bit of landscaping to put this down not too much though that should be all right there i think and there we go so there's our sheep farm so like i said this will this will hold 25 sheep uh let's get over there and start looking at the sheep so when you go for sheep uh in farming simulator 22 there's a there's a few options but we want to go for the black welsh mountain and we also want to go for the black welsh mountain adults because they're the ones who will give us lambs and they'll give us extra wool for a lot less feed so i'm not going to fill it though completely i'm going to put 10 or 15 in and that'll give us you know in a few months time they'll expand by at least 10 in lambs and we can start to to sell those lambs for extra 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 cash and then further down the line we may increase the sheep the sheep farm so i think we'll just get 15 for now it's a little expensive when it comes to the black uh well sheep but uh but how uh, cute yeah very nice so we need to feed them here now this requires uh like i said grass or hay we do have straw but that's unfortunately not what these guys need so you can see here that basically for to in increase their health and reproduction uh and uh productivity of wool we need to give them some grass water is already dealt with automatically with this one so so yeah 
let's uh let's buy some hair we could trim our own grass but we can't do on this map on the outside if you don't own it uh and we don't actually own that grass strip a bit bizarrely uh so we could obviously you know get our own so we got our mowers there etc but what we will need to to think about is is well we're going to need some sort of forklift i guess because all we're going to have to do is we're going to have to get our bales in somewhere and we're going to end up with pallets at the end of the day because we've got them chickens to deal with uh telehandlers are my favorite but they're a bit expensive so i think we'll just go with uh with a forklift truck right now uh that should get us through so yep quite nice i think we'll just buy that and then what we need to do is to get some sort of trailer uh these are all sort of grain trailers there is a bales one there we could probably use but it's very small <clears throat> so let's have a look down there's forage wagons we could use as well if we were just doing it on cut grass but we're going to get some bales and we obviously need a truck anyway for eventually for the wool we get and also for for our eggs because we're going to have to go and sell them so what we need to do is to is to look for some sort of trailer and i think no not animal transport Hmm. Yes, I think I'll go for the profit liner. Yeah, I think that would be a good choice. Now, you would normally need a truck to pull this, obviously. It's a truck trailer, but there is a trick that you can get. A, a tractor to pull it. So... There is a smaller option I could potentially use, but I have a feeling that will be a pain. And there is that as well, which could potentially work. But again, you're limited to what you can get on there. So... And there's nothing else really suitable. I mean, there's low loaders, but I mean, that's mainly for <clears throat> taking your own farm equipment all over the place. I could have also got, a, you know, some forks for, for the actual tractor, but I like a separate uh, unit, you know, to, to be able to, because if my tractor, for example, could be out work in the field, I want to be able to have something like a telehandler or a forklift truck where i can do sort of the the maintenance on the yard and loading pallets and that sort of stuff so yeah yeah i don't think there's anything else suitable in here these are primarily red grain hoppers and that sort sort of thing so yeah i think we'll uh we're pretty limited in what we can get in base game hence why we'll probably start to introduce mods which are available from the mod hut later on but at the end of the day i think i'm be quite happy just to get that uh that big trailer now like i said we would normally get a truck to do that to pull that but obviously the price of the truck would take all that money so 
How else can we pull one of these? You know, uh, there is a car, fifth wheel, I guess. But I'm assuming we can get a fifth wheel on this item. We might not be able to. That may be uh, a mod, I'm thinking. Like you can get the fifth wheel trucks. But, yep, I'm going to get this, I think. Should we go for white? No, let's go for the farming simulator. Yeah. 30 grand. Be worth it in the end. So, how are we going to pull this? Like I said, trucks is, is a possibility. So, we own, we own our profit liner now. But what I'm going to do instead is, is get this dolly, which effectively makes it that the tractor can actually uh, has has a trailer connection on it so we can pull it it might be a little bit of a struggle with our tractor because it's a bit weak it's a bit low power but it should manage it for now so that's that done so let's uh let's head on over there So again, this this first few, you know, two or three episodes is, is basically just getting your plan in place. So what I'm looking really here is to make some some productions, some to get some income coming in on a regular basis, and then we can start to really concentrate on building the farm and building more fields and and doing all that sort of stuff. You know, I mean, a farmer's life is a hard one. Uh, in real life as well. So, at the end of the day, you know, it's difficult to earn money. And as, as we've all seen, or all heard, farmers are really struggling right now, and they have to become pretty inventive. So what I'm doing right now is I'm gonna hook this up to the back of the trailer. I'm gonna hook the trailer onto this little dolly. The only problem with the dolly it's not it's not a fixed item, so it can be a bit dodgy backing up. Okay, yeah, should be able to get on that now. Just get it up the road a little bit. Okay. Nice one. So what we need to know is to get some, uh, well, we, we need some bales. So we'll just get the square bales of hay, I think. So we'll be able to, you know, uh, make this ourselves. We'll get some grass eventually. Or we get some fields where we can get some grass. Uh, we'll buy a couple of those, I think. There we go. And there's a forklift truck. But first of all, we better open up our trailer. So it's quite cool, this trailer. We can just open it up from the side. Like it is. Jump out. And then we can showcase my extremely bad driving on this, uh, and this truck. <laughs> Just go at the right height, give it a quick stab. I'll do. Right, let's get it on the truck. Now we've got a car though, we were, who's, who we just blocked in. Hey, I'll wait a minute. No choice really, I'm not going to move it. So, let's uh, stick this into the back of the trailer. Uh, 
Nice. Let's go and get the other one. As you can see, my forklift skills are legendary. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I don't think I have a career as a forklift truck driver, but hey ho. Oh, see, health and safety would go uh, through the roof here. This is probably like what Jeremy Clarkson would do on Clarkson's farm. <laughs> I tell you what, Jeremy Clarkson's done a, a lot of good though for. Uh, for farming in general. He's highlighted all, uh, so many here in the UK. I know it, it, it's seen across the world as well. So let me know in the comments if you if you follow Clarkson's farm. Uh, but it, it, it really opens your eyes. And you can tell he does actually care uh, about the profession too. He's certainly, uh, he's certainly very popular right now. When it comes to that, let's close our sides here. Watch the animation just fold and woof. All done. So you'll notice in this game as well, we don't really fast forward. I mean, I will shoot the video and make it speed up in patches if I think it's not much value to you to watch. Uh, but generally the gameplay itself is pretty much real time. If you make your your time go a bit faster, I mean, I'm in real time right now, it doesn't affect your gameplay, it just makes the days a bit shorter. So it's an important difference, really. So what, whatever you're doing, so that's why I shove it to real time, because at the end of the day, that gives me all day, many hours to finish what I need to do, and we can get several jobs done. And then one time ready, I just sleep and that moves the day over, moves the month over and then we start afresh the next day or the next month. But once you get the hang of this game at the beginning, the hardest part at first is getting a good cash flow. And you just have to keep managing it. There are loans you can get. I've tried to avoid them right now. Because obviously loans have to be paid back. Right, just do a quick tab over to the uh, forklift now. Let's shove my beacon on. <laughs> and, oh, we'll be doing a bit of drive-by jousting. So... Let's get our sheep fed and we can start to hopefully see some wool. And like I said, the the black wolf sheep, they really, they give a lot of wool compared to the other sheep. I suppose that's why the price is, is, a, is a lot different. But from what I've seen as well, uh, they've, they actually don't take that much feed. So I think them couple of, uh, you know, them couple of, uh, bales that we just got should last you know a good long time many months i would think hopefully long enough anyway for us to actually go and perhaps pick pick up a field where we can put some grass on or buy a field what's already got grass but i think at some point what we need to do is is get this foundation in earn a little bit of money then pick up a a field and we'll try and get a field which is already ready for harvest and then we automatically get that get that that cash it's a little bit of a cash injection and that's another way of making some money actually you can buy a field what's ready for harvest harvest it sell all the grain and then you can sell the field it, it, it there's all sorts of different techniques to to actually you know make money in this game and like I said, you can do contracts as well. 
which you can actually lease the equipment on to do those contracts. And they're good as well because you can lease the equipment. I just need to get that. I don't think I can get that uh, that strap off with it connected. I'll just back it up a bit. So yeah, as I was saying, the contracts are good uh, in the fact that they learn you how to do a particular thing. So if you want to uh, learn how to do weeding, for example, you could look for, you know, contracts which involve weeding and then uh, you rent the equipment with the job and then basically you, you, you'll pick up that skill set by just doing the contract. And same for spraying, same for harvesting, same for seeding. There's a number of different contracts uh, and useful for the money, yeah, but I think more useful for for the skill uh, that, that, that you learn from it and it doesn't cost you anything. So we just push this in a little bit and we literally just drop it at the gate here, right where the loading sign is, so I just drop it right down there. Do a little wheelie, back it up. And what we should see now, you'll see at the back there, yep, all the grass has filled in the little food thing there, so... Let's go and have a wander. Yeah, sheepy. <laughs> yeah, I got these. Cute. Mint sauce. No, I shouldn't sell that. Uh... So what we'll do now, I think, is yeah. So we got that now. We need to just wait for for the sheep to start to work, and our wall will appear here once they start to uh, you know once we move forward. Uh, it'll it'll just appear over time. So uh, actually. No, I better actually get that last one out as well. No point in leaving that there. <coughs> so we'll just get this uh, other baler here. Uh, bang it on the top. It's a shame we can't put, use the straw, but hey ho. Straw we can use for the cows. Once uh, eventually we get those, and we will. I want to sort of try to get at least all the animals. You know, we'll get some pigs. We'll get some cows. But I just wanted these first because... Like I say... It's only small income. But they'll all add up in the end. Oh, nearly lost the, uh, the forklift then. So yeah, everything just adds up. And in the beginning... You know, early game... That's what you're looking for, small gains, because you're not going to, obviously, we're not going to be a millionaire straight off. I mean, you know, it is what it is. I mean, it's pretty much like life. I wish, I wish I was a millionaire. So, let's bang this on the top. And let me know, uh, folks, in the, uh, in the comments, if you want to see anything in particular, or you got any suggestions? Or you think I'm doing something actually stupid and back to front? Uh, yeah, leave a comment, leave a like, subscribe. I mean, if I know all these, uh, you know, these videos are, are, are worth it to you, uh, you know, then it, it will encourage me to, to get more out more quickly. So, so yeah, like and subscribe if you, if you can. Uh, it helps, it helps a lot. So let's see now if we can sell some eggs, I think. We can earn a little bit of money here. And really show off my pretty bad forklift driving skills. So, yeah, that's what I was saying before, because the dolly is not... It's, it's like on a hitch, so it's a bit dodgy when you're backing up. But, like I say, it'll do for now.
All right, I'm just going to speed this up because you don't want to see all this. So for now, I'll come right back right after right after I've uh, loaded everything on. Enjoy the Benny Hill style forklift driving. And there we are, all loaded. Went quite well actually, to be sure, I'm quite surprised. Get one strap on there, should be enough. Right, let's find out where we can lay off these eggs. Pardon the pun. So we go into our prices uh, tab. Everything here is basically what we can what we can make or what you know we can get in the map. So eggs is the um, a few places, bakery, fast food, Johnson's, Farmer's Market. So let's just go for, you know, the, the best price. So we hit the bakery. Uh, pressing A just tags it. So we should be able now to see it in the world. It should be a highlighted green somewhere. Should be on the straight, should be on the main street here. There it is. So there's quite a few, there, there's some places, you know, quite off the map. We just close the uh, our little trailer so it makes uh, makes it look good. Yeah, there's a few places around, you know, on on the extremities of the map, but a lot of the stuff is on this this main sort of straight. It's one of the reasons that I took this map as well because everything is reasonably close by, uh, and even the far ends of the map are not are not too far away. This is a great map to really cut your teeth on. And then you can try, you know, the the bigger US maps or the more intricate UK maps like uh, Camston Farm and that sort of thing, Coates Farm. There's a lot of lot of very talented map makers out there, and you know we will do some some different maps once we've pretty much done all the basics on this one and um, we'll get more interesting maps and, and perhaps have a bit of a, a, a of more of a you know bit tight around this corner yeah a bit bit more of a sort of like a, a playthrough uh with a bit of role play alongside as well always good to add a little bit of role play adds to the fun Yeah, this is not ideal. Shouldn't have come in this way, but if I just get my massive power of <laughs> my 190 horsepowers. So let's see. Should automatically take it, but it's not took it all. So it's you can see it's automatically took. You just need to get inside the, this little square bit here, and it's just took everything, but that. Um, couple so I'll just take the strap off in case that was holding it off it's definitely in there so it should take it not sure why let's uh, let's take it out of here let's just see if I can straighten it up a bit to entice it mm, no nope it's not liking it Okay, let's uh, let's drive it out. Let's drive it out and spin it round and bring it in the other way and see if that'll uh, just finish it off. I don't know if there's a limit to these places when it comes down to you know how much they'll buy in one. One sitting, so to speak. Okay, 
Uh, see if I. I wonder if I could just pull them out. I wonder if I can just drop them on the floor. And would that m make it work? This is sometimes what you have to do. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So let's see, I should be able to grab this, I think. Yeah. It's light enough now for me to grab. Drop it there. Nothing. <laughs> oh, I love it when a plan comes together. All right, stick it back in there. All right, plan B. Let's, uh, let's go and find somewhere else and drop these others. I think if we go over to the restaurant. So the fast food restaurant there. So let's tag that. I think that's just up the road. Let's just see if we can sell these other things. I'm not sure why it's not, not done it this way, but... Uh, I don't know why we've not been able to sell it all here, but... Well, let's uh, wander down. Oh, my back doors are open as well. I'll shut them. Uh, my eggs are doing fine, I think. Oh, lovely. So, past the fire department. <laughs> Head towards a green dot. I'm not 100% sure where, where the actual cell point is. Let's take a look. It, uh, is it at the front? Yep, yeah, it's at the front. So I just need to get it right in that green spot. And hopefully they'll just take it straight again from, from the trailer, which is not. Well, let's take the straps off. It might be the straps. So see if I can... Oh, I'm not going to do much up there. There we go, one off. No. And another one off. Come on. Activate for me. I don't know why I'm doing this one by one. I can actually do it automatically by the truck. Just put them all on and all off the straps. But yeah, adds a little bit of sort of realism, doesn't it? When you got to do it by hand. Yeah, it's still not working. Just as I want to take them last of the eggs. Okay, let me just pick some up. Oops, don't let me carry too many of them. Let's just get that top one, put it on the floor. And anything? Yes, gone. Yes, thank Thank the Lord for that. <sighs> And another one. Yep, that's gone too. Last but by no means least. Oh, it took half of it. Yep, there we go. All gone. All sold. Excellent. <laughs> Sorry. That was uncalled for. Uh, okay. Let's head back to the farm. And I think, you know, for now... I think we're not doing too bad. I think I might close the episode there. I mean, we've added the sheep farm. Uh, what I might do off camera, I might just uh, do a few sleeps. But I think overall, folks, I think that's it. Till the next episode. Anyway, episode three, which should be out very soon. And uh, please like and subscribe. Leave me any comments and I'll see you next time. Bye everybody.